good. All right, we're here at King's Hobby, and today we're going to be looking at the new Doswork T72M 3-in-1. Take it away. This is an amusing hobby kit reboxed by Dosworks. I um, haven't actually had a chance to get my hands on one of these yet, so can't compare it offhand to the other available 35th scale T72s. Which oh, are? You got the trumpeter, the mini mm. art. I think uh, the old dragon one is a little rough. Same thing with the Tamiya. The trumpeter mm. Mm -hmm. and the mini art ones are both good. I was going to say the Tamiya mm. one goes way back, right? The Tamiya one is an original 1970s kit. Yeah. That's the issue with most of Tamiya's modern armor. Mm -hmm. What is this first? Lincoln Link track. Track links of some sort with jigs, which is oh, a nice touch. Which means they're workable yeah. links with pins, okay? Yeah. Workable single link tracks. Woof. Hull. Ooh. Good shape. Mm -hmm. Good detail. All the flashing, all the ejection marks are on the inside. Don't have another one to compare it to right now. Mm -hmm. Clear parts, periscopes, Clear parts, and whatnot. Main searchlight, periscopes, couple of periscopes, and the lights, which is better because the trumpeter one, it's a solid piece of plastic. Mm -hmm. wow. um, it's not clear on this on the searchlight. I was working on the trumpeter one a couple of months mm -hmm. ago. Yeah, how's that look? Turret. Yeah, you turret. say hold that turret over here. Yeah, yeah. turret look shape is decent it has all the stuff on the outside which is definitely an advantage all the mounting holes are on the outside because mm -hmm. on the trumpeter you have to drill them from the inside of it okay like, guess where it is right right off, so that's already better mm -hmm. there's the more tracks. track links well that's that's just the links here's the links and the, on the pins here's okay the, the track pads let's see fuel cans drive shafts and this kit does have an interior option so you can see mm. that the drive shafts go all the way through mm -hmm. and i imagine a lot of the parts if it fits inside of you know because that'll just slot straight through that right hole. right so that'll be nice I, I still want to get my hands on their interior so no tanks. interior in this kit. no not in this release they've done the t72 the t80 and the t90 with interiors you got road wheels and suspension Good detail. All the road wheels are one piece, which is mm. a nice change of pace. They look mm -hmm. pretty good, too. Mm -hmm. Drive sprockets are individual pieces, but detail looks fantastic compared to the old old kits. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We've got... Two-piece gun barrel. Two-piece gun barrel, which is unfortunate. Is the, it's either a breach, supposed to be the breaching or the recovery log, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, fenders look good. Like the detail on everything has been fantastic, and the detail on the gun barrel is good. It's just that's a lot of ribs a lot of to seam to, around, yeah, so. exactly to I have this, to clean up. I think this one will do well with the. Uh, mm -hmm. See that to me, a leopard with the single piece gun barrel. It's slide molded. Man, that thing was. There, that thing is nice. There's a lot of really good aftermarket barrels for this yeah. like Russian armor right now too. Yeah, here's more turret parts. A lot of good detail on that. Upgraded turret assembly from the modern... The M is mm. the modernized, and they added another turret. Mm-hmm. Or, uh, I think, another weapons ring for somebody. So that might be part of the three-in-one. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I'm sure... And I'll, I'll check the instructions and see which variants it gives. But mantlet, good coat. Like, great detail on the underside of everything, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Like, none of that would be visible... On a completed model, like there's, you can true. see all the rivet marks on the inside of the turret ring. True, true. But you know it's there. I know it's there, but I also spend a lot of time staring at mm -hmm. Soviet and Warsaw Pack armor. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, detail on everything so far it looks great. All of the there's some big, big ejection marks on the back of this, and some those big. Yeah, but nobody's gonna chunks. see but that. It's all on the inside. Mm -hmm. Where it's not going to be visible. Oh, here's the top of the hull. That is okay. So no one piece top. Every section is separate. Separate. So you do the different variants, which is nice because you can change the variants. Oh, and yeah. with the interior, you can display it with 
Engine. Look at that, the engine deck, very nicely done. Yeah, because the, the full interior kit comes with an engine as well. Oh, it does. Okay, yeah, yeah. see, you got a lot of texture really, on that. Really nice, and I see they use the same photo etch for everything because mm. that's the gun shield. Okay. Um, I think that's supposed to be the gun shield. There's your spotlight. Those grills are fantastic. Mm -hmm. Decals Markings. look good. I'll look at the instructions for which units... Mm -hmm. Let's see, oh, tubing, of... tubing for the lights and for the fuel lines. There you go. The emergency drums. There you go. Woden zusammen bau lesen. Let's see, what units do they have? Let's look in the new Iraqi army, which is on, built off Hungarian tanks. Hungarian, Czech. I think it was a DDR. Yeah, DDR. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, bring those color profiles. Yeah, over here. so. <clears throat> Just so everybody can see. There you go. Nice. Deutsches Volksarmee, the Hungarian Army, Czech Army, and Iraqi. And the Army. Iraqi, yeah. Yeah, so this is the second because we destroyed. And those are MiG colors they give yeah, you? Yeah, and I would go with the AK because some of the MiG Soviet colors are not as accurate as mm. the AK ones. Mm -hmm. but with the, trying to get... Soviet cat barf green in the right shade is kind of a nightmare because even they couldn't do it. Ah, yeah, okay. Um, but a lot of good detail. Um, like I said, I'm going to have to get the interior the interior sets because I've got all those sets of crews. Mm -hmm. but, okay, well, there you go. Really nice kit. Where do we, where do we press that one at? It's on, the, it's on the bottom of the box, I know it. Mm -hmm. Oh, so 70 bucks, yeah. For 70 bucks. 70 there you bucks. Go. The mini art is the trumpeter's like 45. The mini art is 50 something, mm -hmm. 60 something. So, this is completely in the same price range. Way better build quality just out of the box than the trumpeter. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have the mini art T72, so I can't mm, compare. Do, you know, but going off, I've built a number of their T55s, and it's a very. Mm -hmm. This is probably similar be quality, three times as many parts. No, no, not not to the mini art. Mini oh, yeah. are part heavy. This one, yeah. um, no, fantastic detail, and uh, and it's good because people have been asking after T seventy twos. Okay. Stuff, so, well, there you go. All right. Thank you very much. Y'all have a good evening.